how to create the perfect rent to rent 2.0 website okay on this video i'm going to share with you exactly what you need to do to make sure that you get it right the first time now first things first the first website that you're going to need is aimed strictly at your landlord this means forget agents forget tenants forget guests the amount of people i see that do their guest or tenant website first, or worse still, try and do it all on one website is frightening. If that's you, don't worry. I'm not being horrible, I'm just being honest. So don't worry about that. Do one website that speaks strictly to your landlord. Simple, guaranteed rent, okay? 360 degrees management. We'll take care of all the maintenance. Let us do it. Are you a tired landlord? Speak to your target demographic and that only. The second tip is you need to keep your website engaging and simple. So it doesn't need to have tons of pages. It can just be a one pager, but it needs to simply state your offer, okay? And I need to see your offer as soon as I land on the page, okay? What is it? What does it do for me, the landlord? And why do I want to scroll down? So whatever I see when I go on it, it needs to speak to me. Really important. Don't make me scroll down, okay? Keep it simple. Third thing is it can be good to use images, um, infographics, just to make it a little bit more visually appealing. But what you don't want to do is use uh, picturesque images of Mykonos when you're doing properties in, I don't know, Grimsby, <laughs> that's not gonna work. So you need to make sure that you're, um, you're tailoring to your local market. If you've not got your own images, if you're brand new, you won't, then use stock images for properties, but use images that are likely to be relative to your property. Don't use a London mansion if you're doing, you know, three bed terrace houses in Stoke. It's not gonna work. Okay. Once again, if you're doing five bed HMOs down in the London area, then don't do houses on the coast. Keep it so it could be your pictures and then replace them with your own pictures once you have them. Next, it's important to have a clear call to action. And I typically recommend usually having one to maximum clear call to action. And make sure they don't have to scroll to the bottom of the website to see little text at the bottom. I wanna see it throughout the website, okay? Give us a call now. Drop us a line now, phone number, phone number, phone number. And then to potentially you could have some type of form at the bottom or contact us, which has your address, your phone number, and a form to fill in if they haven't got the time to call you. But the call to action is key. Make sure it's central, because they're gonna be more prompted to give you a call. Up next is a big one. I want to see how it works, how the process works. Because believe it or not, to you and I, rent to rent is normal. But to landlords, this is gonna be a new concept, to a lot of landlords at least. I would say 95% of landlords do not know what rent to rent is. They do not know it, because it's not normal. Even though it seems like there's a lot of us, it's still very, very niche. So you need to say step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and break it down. Super, super key. Really, really key. Because then they can see the journey. And last but not least, branding is key. So as per your logo design, make sure that you do sort of two, three colors maximum. And then you want to get the hex code, which basically means um, the code of color. You know, you'll notice that when you see my stuff, the SSO stuff, it's always the same mustard. It's not just like a color of mustard. It's the same hex code. And you want to make sure that your website represents those two free colors. There's no additional colors. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. And whatever you do, when you're picking your colors, don't pick colors because it's your favorite color. Yeah. Purple's my favorite color, so I'm going to go with purple. <laughs> can do that but what's better is to pick colors that represent your brand and represent your market it's not what you like it's what your target market is going to like so i hope you found this useful if in doubt check mine out look at other people in the community's website 
Also, check out the community opinion on the left-hand side, drop your websites and look at other websites to get some ideas. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. The wheel's been created. All you need to do is execute quickly, efficiently. And top final tip, it doesn't have to be sort of a work of art. I rebranded uh, last year, a couple of years in. Okay, the first one I did myself on Squarespace, then I rebranded and now we've expanded. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just get something so it exists. Let's get it out there and let's move on to the next stage. Introducing Creative Cashflow Plus, the first rent to rent app and leading platform dedicated to supporting you on your property journey. Ask the experts anything. Be held accountable so that you can smash your goals. Mastermind with other rent to rent specialists. Access our deal clinic to get your deals analyzed by a pro. And unlock hours of videos and podcasts guaranteed to help you take your rent to rent business to the next level. Get the ongoing support that you deserve. Join us, Creative Cashflow Plus.